What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Finally, after a long wait, Samsung has started rolling out the brand new beta update for the Galaxy S25 series. This is the One UI 8 Beta 3 here in India and Beta 4 in the US and a few other countries where the One UI 8 Beta testing is currently going on. Now, if you are already on One UI 8 Beta, then you will see this update. Before we go ahead and take a look at this, let me tell you that we have added some live wallpapers on Volvo's application. If you're interested in this home screen wallpaper, I just just added it today go ahead and take a look at that and there are a few more live wallpapers which I've just added and some brand new wallpapers every day I keep adding so if you're interested in this go ahead download the Volvo's application the link is in the description now let's go ahead let's go to the settings let me tap on software update tap on download and install as you can see this seems to be a big change log here let me just scroll down here it says One UI version 8 and or 16 and the version number ends with ZYGB and the size is pretty huge, 1328.16 MB. And the security patch is July 2025. Now let's quickly take a look at the change log here. I have already gone through it and I don't see any new features being added here, but there are many bugs that they have fixed. First one is added Samsung IMS service emergency update feature to support high quality voice, video and enhanced chat services on Galaxy devices. With this, we can now get clearer and better audio quality on the voice calls. And if you're making a video call, you will get crisp and clear high definition videos, which will be available when you make these calls over LTE. Basically your Vivo LTE calls and videos will get better with this addition. And then it says added support for full screen switching while playing videos using DeX. This is something which I need to test and I'll get back to you guys. Fixed an operational issue with Galaxy AI reply suggestions. Fixed a loading issue when Bixby routine commands and triggers via voice. Fixed a display issue in the quick launch icon area on the lock screen. Fixed an issue with the editing iNavi dash cam videos in the gallery application. Fixed an issue where the message fingerprint sensor not responding appears on the lock screen. Fixed an issue with outgoing calls when attempting swipe to call from the contact list with talkback enabled. Fixed a flickering issue of the vertical horizontal level indicator when switching from front to rear camera. Enhanced software stability through updates to multiple applications. Now this is what we get in the change log. It is not that exciting because we were actually expecting some new features, new features like the adaptive lock screen clock, which we have seen before. And we were expecting the integration of the audio eraser feature on Samsung Notes, Samsung recording, voice recording application, etc. And the dynamic live wallpaper feature, which we were expecting, but all these features are not seen on the change log at least. Let's go ahead and resume the update. This is gonna be the uh, seamless update on the Galaxy S25 series. Let me tap on resume. It's almost done. It's already kind of installed. Now the verification will begin. Let me come back to you guys in a bit. All right, now the phone has been updated. Let's quickly check if you've got uh, any new updates for the applications. Let's go to the Galaxy store and let me tap on updates. Yeah, we do have a few updates, but uh, some of these updates arrived some time ago. Uh, the new theme park update we have got improved UI and bug fixes. And uh, the new Notice Star uh, update we have supports One UI 8. And Samsung Health Monitor we have got an update. And we also have Samsung Music Application update. This update arrived uh, today morning itself. And after updating One UI 8 Beta 3, these three updates I am able to see now in the uh, Galaxy Store. Now let's open a few applications and check uh, how the phone is performing, whether it's stable or not. Let's see if there is any status or lag. Let's start with the notification panel. Here we go, we've got quick panel, notification panel. Let's switch right here. Now let's open a few applications here. Working fine, let's go to recents. You can see it's very smooth. Uh, I actually feel it's slightly smoother than the One UI 7 for some reason. Let me just close all of them. Now let me press and hold on the home screen. You can see it's very, very smooth. The transition is very smooth here. No stutters or lags over here. Now let's go to the settings here and let me tap on security and privacy. Let's check if we have got any other updates. Uh, Google Play system update is still May 2025 for the beta version of One UI 8. 
uh, Google has halted the Google Play system update for the devices on beta versions. So let's go ahead and see if we have got the new update here on the One UI uh, uh, 8 Beta 3. It says uh, your device is up to date. So for uh, the devices running on One UI 8 Beta 3 or whatever uh, beta version, you will not get the Google Play system update. As you can see, it's still in May 2025, whereas on the Galaxy S24 series and S23 series, we have already received July Play system update. Now let me tell you another change that we have seen on the One UI 8. Let me press and hold on the home screen, tap on wallpaper and style. Let's do that on the One UI 7 as well. And now let me tap on change wallpapers. As you can see, this area here under gallery, we can now see four options, recent favorites, video and download. We can't swipe towards the right. Whereas here we can swipe towards the right to see all other albums. And we can tap on gallery to get into the gallery directly. And here also we can tap on gallery to see the other albums inside the gallery. But now this has been streamlined. As you can see, we don't see these, uh, these kind of icons here. We've got smaller icons where we have four options. One is recent, favorite, videos and download. We can directly add videos to the lock screen. We can tap on videos to see all the videos from here and we can add it right from here. Now I don't recall whether this got updated after this beta 4 or whether it was there uh, before itself. But the thing is there are some users for reporting that the AI has been integrated into this. You can see this image shared by Sami fans. We have AI suggested wallpapers. AI is in play and it is suggesting the wallpapers right here and we can select any wallpapers from these suggestions. But I'm not able to see those suggestions here on my phone on the S25 Ultra for some reason. Maybe it will take some time to show up here or it has not arrived at all on my Galaxy phone in my region. Not very sure about it. I will keep you guys posted anyways. Now the thing is, uh, it's been almost two months since the beta uh, testing started and even now we do not have the stable version of One UI 8 which is a bummer. I'm not sure why Samsung is delaying it so much. Z Fold 7 series launch is already done. The units have reached the customers and yet Samsung is struggling to update the Galaxy S25 series with this brand new update. I'm not sure what they're thinking. We just got the beta 4 and I'm not sure how many more weeks we will have to wait for the stable One UI 8 release. I'm kind of frustrated. Uh, we should have got all those brand new features also, which were seen in the leaks. In one of my previous videos, I did discuss about the new features which are expected to come to the Galaxy uh, S25 series on One UI 8, uh, but that did not happen yet and uh, not sure why Samsung has not added them with this beta, uh, which means now probably we will get one more beta or with a stable version, we will get those new features. Let's wait and see that, fingers crossed. Uh, as soon as we get the next update, I'll keep you guys posted. I hope you've already subscribed to the channel. If you want to stay updated with everything that's happening with your phone, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like. Uh, your likes will take this video to many more people. And I really appreciate I get motivated when I see more likes for the video. So go ahead, give a like for the video. And do not forget to download our wallpaper application, Volvers. That's all I have here. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.